Today we're going to be teaching Cora touch, which is a super fun trick behavior that we can use to shape other behaviors. What touch means is that her nose has to touch the target. Today the target's going to be my flat hand. I like to use my hand as a target because I know that I'll always have it with me. Um, but you're more than welcome to actually use a target on a stick. It could be something like a tennis ball on a dowel or something like that that gives you a more defined target. Again, I just like to use my hand because I know I always am going to have it with me. Um, so to start out, we're going to lure Cora to do the behavior by holding a treat behind the hand I want her to touch. Cora. Good. So what I'm going to do is just show her that I have the treat. Good! And then put the hand behind the treat and she leans right into it right away. She's a smart girl. She figures stuff out pretty quick here. Good! Good girl! So when her nose touches, that's when she gets the treat. Now what we're going to do is start to teach her the cue. We don't want to do it right away until we know that she's going to be touching consistently. And again, she's doing a great job there, good girl. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is say touch the second that her nose touches my hand. So we're starting to help her associate the word touch with the behavior. Touch, good job, good girl. Touch, good girl, that's it, good. So once we get her doing this consistently by pairing the word with the action at the same time, we can slowly start to inch that word a little before the action. So eventually we'll be able to say touch and then she'll follow through on it. What we're going to work on today though is just getting her to move out of her sit to move towards that target a little bit. Touch, good girl. So she leaned into it there but didn't actually have to take a step so I'm going to move it a little bit further back. She has touch, good. I had to wait for her to actually touch it. She got really close there, but didn't quite touch it. So we're going to wait until her nose actually touches my hand. Touch, good girl. Good job. And so that's where we're going to wrap it up for today with Cora. We don't want to push things too far too fast. We want to make sure that she's really getting a firm grip on it. So we'll pick up our session a little bit later today and practice again. It's always a good idea to do short sessions where you make a little bit of progress than to try to stretch out your training into one long session and hit a lot of frustration and roadblocks. Cora, please. So we're going to put Cora back um, to her place and then we're going to have Zuko show you the finished product. Um, once we taught your dog touch again, we can teach them a variety of behaviors from close heels to ringing potty bells, also jumping. If we move that target up a little higher, they're gonna have to jump to reach that target. Zuko loves to jump, so this is one of his favorite behaviors to practice, and it makes training a little bit more fun for us. So we'll mix that in when we're working on new commands of Zuko so that he can still um, have something that's really enjoyable for him that he likes to do. Zuko touch. Good boy, good. Um, so we can hold our hand at differing heights. You wanna make sure that if you're training your puppy with touch, that you're not having them jump very high off the ground. Just practice on the ground touches until their growth plates are closed up. But with an adult dog like Zuko, you're more than welcome to push them a little bit on their height of their jump, on touching a target that's above your head or at least off the ground. Place. Good boy. Straight. But again, with puppies, we just want to take it nice and easy, do low impact things. If you are going to practice jumps, doing it in a carpeted area or an area with padding or grass outside is a good way to start out so that you're taking it easy on their joints. Touch. Good boy. Good job. Okay. So that's the basics of teaching your dogs touch. Once you have them consistently touching that target, you'll be able to lure them through a variety of things, even through an agility course, and be able to teach them larger, bigger behaviors just from teaching them that one behavior, touch.